Okay, just got back from Home Depot because I had to buy lag bolts to attach our Jungle George Swings um, swing hardware. Real beefy, 1800 pound capacity per item. Uh, I'll have a link in the description for these swing hardware pieces. Uh, really heavy stuff, heavy duty stuff. However, keep in mind if you order them, they do not come with the lag bolts. Measurements so just... for a 118 inch beam that I'm using, my two uh, four by six beam. And they found a real good um, go by document online, which I'll uh, link in the description. Uh, made it pretty simple once I thought about it. Um, and I'm gonna do those measurements now and get these, uh, get these suckers installed. Okay, so basically here are my notes. Uh, we're going for 16 inches in between uh, each swing. So there's a 16 inch gap between swings. We're going for three swings. Obviously this is not the scale. I'm working with about 118 inches, actually a little bit more on the ends um, because there's gonna be a lot of dead space underneath where the legs are. So I'm actually adding an inch there that's, uh, uh, that's actually inserted into the metal bracket. However, I'm gonna count it. So 16 inches from the edge, 18 inches for the actual swing. Another 16 inches between swings, 18 inches, 16 inch, you get the idea. So I'm going to be marking off my um, lag bolt locations and get these things put in. Five pound hammer. It's a blue hammer, a big one. Let me cover that. Okay. What do you want, girl? Gotta <laughs> smack stuff. No, I'll give it to me. Oh, I don't want to smack stuff. Is that going in? Yeah, there's a spider. Look in those holes. Do you see wood through those little holes? Point to the holes that I'm talking about. Those two. Yeah, do you see wood in there yet? You see wood coming I through? I see that. I see one through there. It's there? Okay, In how about the second one? No. Yeah. <laughs>